Hi, Eric Gibo, Eric Gibo .com, and today with my daughter Pino, we're going to work on camera flash. <laughs> Let's start. So I'm going to use my Olympus OMD EM5 Mark II. And what flash are we going to use, Pino? Mama. Ah, the Godox TT600. So when I speak about on camera flash, I speak about this. So I'm going to show you without flash and how to, when using flash, better the way it looks, okay? Uh, so let's carry on. What I'm going to explain is uh, I'm going to use uh, the, this flash in manual mode. This is a manual mode flash, but doesn't matter if you use TTL because I'm not speak to, going to speak about the way to measure light or this, but about the way uh, it, the light will look, the lighting will look on the, the person or whatever you're lighting, okay? So what I say uh, works as well as TTL as on manual flashes, no problem. So I've set my little model. So. I'm going to show you uh, first without flash, so you see the bad lighting we have because there are some holes in the in the trees, and you get some light light ray. Uh, you, may, you may like it or not, but uh, and after how to better uh, this uh, flash lighting uh, also. Okay, so let's carry on. Qué guapa, guapa, qué guapa. Mira, 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 muy bien. As you can see, Pino. The first picture, you see some rev light as I've got in the video right now, and maybe you like it, but uh, if the idea is to have a more uniform lighting, that doesn't work. You need to work in the in the shade or uh, get a different kind of lighting. So now I'm going to use the flash so you see the difference. So the first picture, I put the flash this way, direct, as some people do, and uh, you can see how it looks. And also, um, if you had a small integrated flash, it would be the same thing, but even even worse uh, the way it looks. I'll explain just after why. Uh, but let's do a direct flash like this, so it looks. As you can see, shadows on the neck and under the nose and uh, if the, the hands or whatever are really harsh. Why? Because the surface of the flash is really small. So if you were using an even smaller flash, an integrated flash, it will be even worse. So we're going to see how to better that. And this is why uh, the problem is not just only direct flash, but the size of this flash makes shadows really harsh. Okay, so let's see how we can better that. So we're going to try to get a larger surface. So you can use uh, these accessories. One is a commercial one, okay. I'm going to use my uh, homemade one, okay. This is a simple uh, a kind of foam. You, uh, you can get it in a handcraft shop, okay? Piece of paper, white paper in there, a Velcro here, Velcro on the flash. I'll leave you a link of a, a video I made explaining why you should uh, put a Velcro, how to use it. So now, as you can see, the surface is not that small, but all that large. So if I put my flash pointing uh, up, uh, the upward, uh, this case, I've got larger surface, so we're gonna see the difference. By the way, uh, this obviously I lose uh, some power, but I was already on minimum when I was direct flash. I was on minimum power, so I still have some margin to put higher. Okay, to, to put higher power. Okay. As you can see, uh, shadows are a lot softer. I could kill the. Um, ray of light that were uh, coming okay and uh it still it still it still sits flash okay but it's look it looks more natural than uh, just before and uh you could uh, actually get something uh, a lot nicer this extra light on the, her face and it looks a lot nicer than before in case you don't have this small accessory what you can do is bounce the light if you have a white wall behind you or in my case i've got my van here so i close the door to uh, to uh, bounce against it so you have to turn the lights instead of having front frontward you get backward this way so the light is going to bounce on this okay so it's like if I had a massive soft box and that gives me it gives me a really soft light again to, to, to have a look at it okay As you can see, bouncing light is a lot more natural because the surface is massive. 
Uh, this is why uh, when people say uh, they recommend uh, to use a mag mode accessory or uh, stuff and it's something you put in front of your flash saying that it's the same as a softbox this is pure lie it's not the same thing I mean if you're indoor it will help you bounce wider than this that's right but outdoor it would be very similar to my uh, will be very similar to this or even smaller is smaller than this okay you get better result with this that costs nothing uh, almost nothing than with a mag mode or stoffen so uh, when they, you see them they use it at about three meters away from the model and they say uh, it's the same as a softbox this is pure lie it's, it's not possible physically it's not possible so if you really close yeah you'll see a bit better if the way i use my small uh, racket ping pong racket it looks like a table tennis racket uh, yes but actually uh, my small racket also if you put three meters away won't be useful anymore okay because it's too small okay so uh, when you see magma they using like three meters away this is stupid this is nonsense this is pure lie so honestly you cannot compare that with a real soft box the only thing you can compare it with a real soft box is my van or white wall okay but uh, you cannot orient it as you want okay but yes so this is the way you can actually better you on camera mm. flash okay that's it well thank you very much pino gracias pino Un besito for helping uh, it was not that easy to uh, get the background light uh, as i wanted and uh, uh, ambient light all this but it was uh, worked as fast as possible because uh, it's hard for her okay and but it was fun okay so i hope it helped you if you feel it may interest other people please share it on social networks if you have not done it yet please subscribe to my youtube channel the small button down here and a small bell if you click on the bell get notified mm -hmm. when i upload a new video my website erichibo.com if you have any question can leave a comment below also leave you links of my gear on amazon links to all the uh, kf concept gear i've reviewed and also link to my paypal account in case you wanted to make a donation thank you very much vamos a decir adios 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 bye take care